Hello everyone, this is Darwell 20 and welcome to episode 50 of Darwell 20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Spaceships Let's Play series, uh, where I'm going to make some of those Cupro Nickel doohickeys that we made last episode. Where are they at? Where are they at? So, nickels go in the corner. Okay. Hopefully this is enough. I don't know. I didn't actually math out how much of this we need, so we'll just kind of figure it out. But that should be cool. Nice. So fast. Love it. So between episodes, I made a bunch of steel. I ran 25 iron blocks through, which got me a bunch of steel. Hopefully enough, right? So last episode, we figured out we needed roughly 200 steel plates for what we need to do here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and toss those into the compactor. He's already got his augmentation in there. So this will take a minute or two. Um, not a huge deal, obviously, but, you know, can you go into the, you can go into the compressor from Tech Reborn. Hmm, how hard would that be to make? Not terrible. Need steel plates, but otherwise actually rather cheap. I'm just thinking because, like, if the compressor can make plates and we got these fast speed upgrade dudes, I'm just saying that might be a cool thing to do. Might be an alternate method. Um, I wonder if you can, like, auto input and eject. Probably not. But, uh, I mean, aside from that, we could probably figure something out. But if it's fast enough, like, why not, right? I mean, we've got a few extra plates here, right? All we need is some pistons, some electrotene, and a few other things. Let's try that. While that thing's going on, let's try that, shall we? Hooray! Hooray! And some glass, I think it was. This is like the easiest crafting recipe I've ever had in this pack. Which is really, you know, saying something. All right, in the basic. Okay. So, compressor would be presumably in here somewhere. There you are, compressor. So how fast are you? I mean, not that this was a big recipe to make or anything, right? Are you full of stuff? You're kind of full of stuff. Let's uh, let's just toss you over here. And just for fun, right, how fast are you? Because what I'll do is if this is worth it, right, if throwing these four in here is worth it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. I feel like I should replace my my thermal compressor. What do you guys think? Yeah? I mean, obviously, the overclocker upgrades make this what it is, right? But, all right, we want to we wanna break you with the wrench. Don't break with the wrong gadget. Hey, did you notice that magnet in my inventory? Look at this. Between episodes, I made myself a ring of magnetization. It was really easy to make. I cooked that up between episodes. Not a huge deal. So what I'm thinking is, like, we just replace this dude. Which, by the way, I'm just saying, has that augment in it. So I want to hang on to the augment because, yeah, I don't want to put that away. No, nope, you stay. And then you, up, 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 up. Cool. With these guys in it. And then you get to work. Sweet. Awesome. All right, so you are going to be upgraded to reinforce machine casings, right? So we need 33, so we need like a stack of Cooper nickels, roughly. Maybe a little bit more than a stack of Cooper nickels. So we're actually going to need um, a pretty significant more amount of nickel and copper. I guess the only complaint that I have about this rolling machine, uh, as previously stated, is that I can't shift click into it. Oh, right. Uh, hey, give me back my machine speed upgrades, would ya? Whoo, so much faster. Loving it. <laughs> nice. So that works, right? That should be cool. All right, good deal. So then you guys come back, and let's get to work on updating to these guys, right? So put all this away, and hopefully I have enough. Ha, <laughs> close. There we go. Hopefully I have enough. Getting there, a little bit more uh, steel in the compressor. Do the thing. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I really like that. Tech Reborn, yes, please. Speed upgrades for the win. All right, uh, so another healthy amount of you. 
That is definitely faster. And considering how frequently we use the compressor, I'm all about that. There's not a mechanism machine that can do this, right? No, just the pressurizer, which also can get some decent speed upgrades to be fair. But, you know, hey, 34, nice. How much steel plate overlay did we have? Nice, beautiful. Quest complete, reinforced machine casing. So last episode, right, we got ourselves the industrial blast furnace. We made th this, and now we're gonna make this, which gives me a carpenter as a reward, so that's a thing. Supremium large sword blade, electric motor, and lumium coin. Okie dokie then. So those are some interesting rewards, if I uh, do so say so myself. Uh, I got that, the Supremium Large Sword Blade. You know, I'm just thinking to melt that thing. Oh, that should be doable. Hey, food. Always, always appreciate food. Okay, and you can go away and you're probably just garbage. See ya. And the Supremium thing, like if I melt this into ingots, that would probably be useful. Nice, it's melting, you can see it. Um, I put a little bit too much basalt in here, so I've been uh, resolving that mistake on my part. Uh, maybe not quite enough. We'll put one more back in there. Should be fine. Not a big deal. Okay. Sweet. We also got a motor. All right, so that's that, right? So now we can do things like ruby dust. We should be able to get access. Put iron and coal in the blast furnace to create steel and rich slag. Yeah, that's what's up. Rich slag can be kind with ore blocks, induction smelter to triple ore output. Yes, rich slag is good stuff. And it also leads to rich phyto grow, which is also good stuff, right? Uh, then there's ruby dust. Crush some rubies to obtain ruby dust. Yeah, we'll take care of that in a minute. And then titanium um, is also uh, made in the blast furnace, right? Industrial blast furnace, titanium dust equals titanium. Right, so we definitely want to do all these things. So let's get our titanium. Let's get our blast furnace. Oh, there it is. Cool. We can come back over here. I'm curious also, by the way, if I can throw the speed upgrades in this thing. I forget if there's a speed upgrade slot in the blast furnace or not. Uh, there are machine upgrade slots. Just saying. Okay. That should be cool. 1700 heat. Sweet. Now for you to be cooked, you need 1500 heat. I think we can get higher heat levels with better blocks. But that's the gist, right? And then we'll throw these guys in here. And I want to test iron and coal. We're going to test charcoal as well to see. I'm pretty sure charcoal was allowed, but we'll find out. Oh, and then we need uh, universal cables. I'm hoping the basics are enough, but it might not be. We'll find out. For now, that'll do, right? We might, we might need the better ones. Just saying. So if I put you in there and you in there, is that like super fast? Is it two? <whistles> Look at that. That was fast. I like that a lot. Whoo, that uses a lot of power. Titanium is a lot of power. Titanium is a lot of power. We will definitely need to upgrade this. Um, it's fine. It's fine, we're just gonna need some of these, which needs uh, alumite plates, that's right. That's a hassle of a recipe if I ever saw one. Alumite plates, ouch. Ugh, alumite's a hassle. Is there a better way to make these this stuff, alumite? Can I make it in an induction smelter? Not really. Not really. Like I have to cast it? I have to cast it, don't I? I mean, it's not the end of the world. Don't get me wrong, it's not like huge. It's just, you know, just annoying. I was hoping there'd be a little bit smoother way. It's all good. It's all good. So you can get titanium. Wow, look how fast that drains. Holy cow, that is shenanigans. But what I do like, what I do very much appreciate is this speed. So is this losing power? He's breaking even-ish, but he's actually got a net loss. You can see it's losing a little bit of power, but still, Look how fast that steel production is. That is gorgeous right there. 
um, and way faster than our blast furnace was a minute ago. Like, yeah, he's draining stupid amounts of power, but, you know, I'll take it. Look at all that steel. I love it. Uh, not to mention, we're getting a ton of rich slag, which is cool, right? Now, we need eight titanium, which just happens to be how much titanium dust we have. However, our power situation is such that this is not going to hold up. So let's get some aluminum, of which we have a little bit. We have a little bit of alumite left, too, so we could plate that up. And maybe what we should do is replace the whole basic universal cable line with better cables. Does that sound smart? I think so. Um, so we're going to want... That's going to be like 49-ish, right? Because you get seven from the alumite, right? Um, so we're going to want a little bit more alumite. So if we want alumite when we're casting this... We want five aluminum, two iron, two obsidian, right? So five aluminum. Iron times four obsidian. I forget always if it's four or two that I need. So we'll go with four. Let me melt that up into alumite and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Also, I just want to note how great is this. Uh, you can configure the slots here. So this one I configured to output to the top and auto output. And then configured slots here, top auto input. You also want to check filtered input. Uh, and the reason for that is if you don't filter the input, it'll pull in anything. If you filter the input, it'll only pull in things that can be compressed, which is what we want. So when I drop iron ingots in here, boom. And it doesn't pull the iron ingot back in, or the iron plate. Without filtered input, the iron plate would be pulled into the compressor, which we, you know, don't want. So there's that. Hey, so by the way, making that uh, that stuff is really easy. That that super that super good stuff. I uh, would watch my call it. So that's cool. All right, let's go actually back out here for a sec. How's everybody doing? Can I put you away? No, you're super full. Good job being full though. Proud of you. I did melt down my uh, supremium. It was only a two obsidian, by the way. So mental note, direwolf, please try to remember this. Obsidian does, in fact, double. Okay, that's all. Okay, take that as a note, as a takeaway. So then the other thing we're going to need is, um, if we want to, we're going to need uh, silicone, right? Uh, so we want our silicone bulls. We're going to need a hefty amount of you in the magma crucible. So let's just do that, right? So you're nice and quick, luckily. Hey, guess who found his other reservoir, by the way? You know where it was? It was in my bauble slot. I went I went and checked and it was in there. <laughs> I knew it had to go somewhere, right? Um, you know, it had to have gone somewhere. Uh, so what we wanna do, so these are your outputs, right? And that's, that's your energy output. So basically what I'm gonna do here is, But the other thing we want to make sure of is that we are disconnecting that so that doesn't happen, right? And then we're cool to go the rest of the way. Actually, I don't want that to happen either, do we? No, because you're getting... I wonder if you're, like, capping out, right? Because your generation is 512. Hardened is higher than that, right? Hardened is, like... 4,000. Yeah, we should be fine there. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is just snag all this stuff. Cool. Mm, we can maybe work from out here. We'll find out. So you go in there, you go in there, and then we just need to reservoir our magma crucible and do that. Sweet. Now the magma crucible is probably melting up a few more of this stuff, and I should even throw, put seven in there. He's got enough residual energy to keep running, by the way, so I think we'll be fine. There you go. Sweet. Wow, you do not have enough residual energy, though, do you? These guys connect, right? I think they do. 
It's funny because like some mods do let you connect your higher tier stuff and some do not. All right, so you need energy. And that should be good now. Go ahead, get to work, buddy. Inventory needs resources. Oh, right. Now we're cool. Okay, good. So we'll get maybe two sets of them and then swap it around. That shouldn't be too big a deal. And then we'll see if um, 512 are a tick versus one. So five times the energy. So, well, no, four times the energy. We want to make sure that battery is getting powered too. Otherwise, we'll run out of power in our refined storage system. And that would be sad. All right. So another set. So you use like three per. So that's a pretty significant amount here. Okay. Are you missing more? Okay, there's some more basics for you. That'll let you do two more iterations of this. Perfect. All right, good deal. So while you're cooking, let's go test our titanium producer. And of course, you know, putting all these overclock upgrades in is helping no one with regards to how much power this generates. But obviously and already we're seeing a faster uh, power transfer going on here, right? Um, sweet. Why are you only changing it like 900 forge energy per tick? Does that seem low? Shouldn't you be more? Yeah, why are you so low on power, Chief? You really shouldn't be. Like, we have the good cell down here, right? Oh, no, we only have the advanced. Really? We only have the advanced? That's right. That's right, we do only have the advanced. Max output, 1,000. Yes, yeah, so we want to upgrade you. We do want to upgrade you. That's a quest, isn't it? Rich slag, advanced control circuit. Sure, I'll take it all. But isn't that a quest? Uh, it was over here somewhere. There it is. Elite Energy Cube. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Well, not that much work. More Alumite. More hardened glass. Not terrible. Not terrible. I think that's doable. I'm wondering if the custom recipe here will transfer the stored energy or not. It's a question. It's a question I don't have an answer to. Let's see what happens. Boom. So while there's energy inside the universal cables, we're good, right? That's why we didn't lose energy right away. But as soon as we're impacted by the uh, transfer speed of our uh, battery down there, that's when things become a problem. So let's prepare for this, right? So we're going to want for you, which I'll just throw in and cook, right? Hardened glass, we should have a bunch of that. So that's good at least. And then we need steel plates of which we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Cool. So five more steel. Sweet. And I mean, without the speed upgrades, you heard a little bit. I really need more speed upgrades. How much do these cost? Are they expensive? Machine overclocker upgrades? I feel like that recipe's changed, but maybe it hasn't. Eh, it's not too bad. Eh, it's not too bad. A little bit of super glue. Insulated gold cable. Eh, it's not too bad. Nine of them with silicon. Eh, it's not too bad. We can do it. Later, though. I'm busy. I'm busy doing other stuff. Alumite plates. That one we're going to need more aluminum for. So what we want is our bauxite. Speaking of speed upgrades, I'm going to need to borrow you for a minute, buddy. Because we're going to want... Empty cells down here. You get the empties, you go in there, and you get speed upgraded. Because you're really slow without speed upgrades. Like this one, we really, like that's with speed upgrades. It's really quite slow. Surprise we're so low on aluminum, considering how much we get from bauxite. Though I guess we don't get that much, because it does eat up like eight bauxite. No, 12, right? At a time. So quite a lot, actually. It's all good. Gets us a lot of aluminum and some more titanium, by the way. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, we're gonna need more cells. Uh, we're gonna start hopefully soon getting into the whole automation process here, but you know, we'll figure it out. Okay, so that's cool. So let's get like, cause it's five, right? So let's do 30, so that'll be six X, right? Um, so then we're gonna want 12 iron. Right, six times five, six times two, uh, and six times one obsidian. But there's already some obsidian in there, so we're only gonna put five in, and that should be cool. So I'll get us a bunch more alumite, uh, for which we will be right back. All right, so we got some reinforced alloys, check. We've got a couple batteries cooking, check. We've got another one of these should be available to us now, check. They're gonna fill up with RF, but eh. Eh, there's not much I can do about it. Hopefully I can still shift click it into the table, but if I can't, I can't. All right, cool. So what else am I missing here then under elite crafting? Hopefully, all right, so we're just missing electro silicon and the advanced energy cube, perfect. So that's in there and then we can pop over to this dude. Uh, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from here. Cause that's probably how it was placed initially. And let's see if you wanna behave yourself, huh? He is not recognized as an advanced energy cube, which means I get to place all this by hand. We'll be back in a minute or two. Ta-da! And we lose all the stored energy. Not the end of the world. Our energy production is such that we're, we're killing it, right? Now, hopefully you remember all your sidedness, but theoretically, you do not. All right, so out on the back and in everywhere else, right? That's, that's the basic gist here. Out on the back and in everywhere else. I believe that to be accurate. Right, because we're getting input on this side. The right side input is from is from our, our whatchamacallit, right? Um, you know what, you should also be outputting to the top. Right, so back and top is output. Uh, bottom and sides are input. Sweet. Okay, so that means you guys should probably be cooking up a storm right now, right? Yeah, you're burning up ethylene like nobody's business, right? We're producing 8,000 RF a tick and we can only transfer 5,000 RF a tick. So we're not even transferring as much as we can produce right now. So we're doing really good. Uh, what's the upgrade look like for you? Osgo glass plates, Osgo glass plates, which are Terra steel if I'm not mistaken. Osmium, refined obsidian, glowstone. Oh, well, that ain't so bad. Osmium, refined obsidian, and refined glowstone. Actually, that's pretty doable. That's actually really doable. Osgo glass should not be a problem for us, but we'll uh, we'll deal with it when the time comes, right? Also, you should be draining your power pretty fully, aren't you? Well, you know what it is? You can't. Um, oh, and you know what? You're, you should be outputting to the bottom, shouldn't you? That should be ensuring these machines are getting powered over here. Yeah, I think the bottom was also an output. So realistically, only the back was an output. Is that the way that worked? So just for fun, can we upgrade the hardens? No. Just curious. Redstone energy flux duct. That's not bad. A little molten redstone, and then that can do 9,000 RF a tick. Not terrible. Not terrible. And then maybe you could connect into it. What do we think about that? I kind of like that idea. Or I could just make the Osgo glass, right? Why don't we do that? Because Osgo glass is obsidian refined. We've got some refined glowstone plates and some refined obsidian plates, which would melt in there well enough, but you know. Uh, so just, just remind me, Oz, go glass. Uh, when you alloy, you get one millibucket for one millibucket. So one ingot of each turns into just one ingot of Oz, go glass. So we're gonna need two ingots of each to do that minor upgrade, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's do that, let's do that. So we want uh, two, two, and two. That actually might work. How fast do you smelt this stuff? I'm assuming you can smelt all those things, yes? 
That ain't so bad. Back in a sec when it's done. And as a reminder, right, like refined glowstone and other things are pretty easy to come across. That was a weird little oddness. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, like refined glowstone is really straightforward now that we have access to the rolling machine, right? It's super easy to make. I just happened to have some, so I wanted to like knock this out. But going forward, Osgo glass should not be hard to come across. Frankly, Iamite's probably more of a hassle than Osgo glass. Honestly, that's probably accurate. So that should get me two ingots of Osgo glass. Yes, perfect. And then that's enough for a quick upgrade and everything should connect up nicely. What I should do is upgrade the whole line running from the generator over to the thing, but we'll maybe I'll knock that off between episodes or something. I just want to show you guys like what I'm doing. I don't want to be super repetitive and been like, hey, you've seen this 18 times, but uh, elite universal cable. Elite universal cable, that's what we want. So that's you and that's you. And then you also need silicone times four. Beautiful. Can't speed this thing up though, can you? Nope. There's no speeding this up. There might be something we can do to speed it up, but I don't know. So now if we take this guy down here, these multiple inputs should connect nicely to him, and then we should have a better experience, right? So all I should in theory have to do is replace you guys. Now you should be draining, in theory. Well, you are multi-block, so maybe not, I don't know. That actually should be working, I would think. Interesting. Wait, are you full already? Yep, that's why. <laughs> that's why. It is working. He's just already full. That's how great our power generation is right now. Okay. So that should be good, at least. All right, cool, cool, cool. Works for me. Harden, go away for a minute. Now let's get that titanium cooked up, shall we? And before we do that, let's see how well you're going to behave for me. Look how fast that's filling up. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hopefully you can maintain all the titaniumness. Now I'm thinking we have a little bit of a loss in the universal cables, but not too terrible. Which tells me we should be able to maintain this power. That is awesome. That is awesome. And we're probably crushing our power just a little bit over here, but I'm not worried. Right? Yeah, we're maintaining that power just fine. We're burning up our internal buffers here. That is awesome. Look, we're barely scratching it. Oh man, we have so much power jet. It's great. I love it. I love it. And this guy over here, hardly touching him. All right? Now at some point soon, I'm sure we will get to the point where this is not nearly enough and we're going to have to get into more advanced forms of power gen. But for now, Dyer's eternal phrase, but for now, wow, look at all that bauxite dust. Yeah, I melted that a little bit. Uh, for now, we're like in really good shape. Hey, quest complete. Sweet. Osram and titanium. Cool. Great times, dude. All right, now you wanted ruby dust times nine. All right, I'm assuming that you turn into ruby dust in a pulverizer. Is there any other fancy way to get you? I mean, I could get two with this basic cutting fluid, but it sounds like a hassle. Any way else to get double in it? Pulverizer can get double from the ore, triple from the tectonic. You can get a little bit from redstone, which is cool, and the centrifuge. But I'm going to call the pulverizer my approach, right? So pop some rubies in. And he's pretty quick. Actually, I don't know how much we need, so I don't want to go overboard. We need nine. Booyah. Claim. Intermediate essence, you say. Don't mind if I do. 
and then you want chrome dust in the electrolyzer. Industrial electrolyzer with some more empty cells. I think we need some more. That's it, right? I figure by the time I went and got those speed upgrade things, I'll make more of those off camera too. Probably. Probably between episodes I'll remember. I make no promises. I put away some flooring stuff. I'll fix that. You and the empty cells, industrial electrolyze. Oh, that's right. You're a little bit slow too, aren't you? Not too bad though. Not too bad. But I'm assuming that this might lead to iridium. We'll find out. That's chroming. It's so iridium, by the way, how do we make iridium? Because I got Essence of the Gods, right? So that makes a few things. But in the fluid infuser, we can do platinum or thermoconducting alloys. So thermoconducting alloy will get me iridium. Okay, that's not bad. Fluid infuser. Thermoconducting alloy. We made that, right? Remember we made that? Yeah. Okay. So what's the deal with the fluid infuser? Need some titanium plates. So there you go. Hyperlinking card. Sweet. Needs chrome. Hey, guess where we're going, All right? Because electrolyzing this yields chrome, All right? So now we get that as a reward and we put away the excess junk and the two chromes can turn into chrome ingots. They are an industrial blast furnace recipe requiring 1700 heat. So we have just enough. Sweet. That gets me an extra chrome ingot along with a few extra rubies and a platinum coin. All right, and then you want the hyperlink card. Okay. So what you're saying is the hyperlink card from Overloaded needs a couple of you. Smelt it up. We also need chrome plates, not chrome ingots. Cool. Because there's three of you, yeah, we're gonna transfer it around. We're wasting a little bit of power, but didn't we just demonstrate how much power we have? And that should be cool. Didn't I get both of you? Nope, I missed one. Sweet. So that gets me some junk. Bada bing, bada boom. Rare loot bag, anything good? Is there ever anything good though? No. Look, I'm not, I'm not dissing the loot bag mod. I'm just saying that there's never anything good in there. Canthal heating coils are needed to increase the heat in your blast furnace. This is necessary to produce metals like the resonating gem. Ah, cool. Okay, good times. Uh, did not know I would need those to do the fluid infuser though. Is that true? Do, 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 do. Chest, bucket, advanced servo, cleaning machine, electric motor, titanium plates, advanced plating. Advanced plating is a rolling machine recipe of joxum, tough, ovium, and gold plates. I don't think I need this to actually make the iridium, but the quests are such that he did not unlock anything. I expected as soon as I got this done, it would be like, now make a melter, then etc. But it didn't. So that's interesting to me. Um, so what I think we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. Maybe uh, how hard is these canthal ingots to make? I only need four. It's a rolling machine of refined iron, three chrome, and three aluminum. But of course the quest wants four because it makes three at a time. That makes sense. I'll probably knock that out between episodes. Come back next time uh, and we'll continue down this path. So we're in the Iridium Age. Uh, we're starting to get some faster machines. I'd really love to get automation. So what's a crafting from refined look like. So if we want a refined crafter. So it's special infused in steel, electro teen, and a few other things. So I mean, it's a complex recipe to make a crafter. So auto crafting is not gonna be super easy to get into in bulk, but also not that hard, right? Not that hard, um, not unreasonable. Let's put it that way. Um, So, yeah, interesting. Okay, and then Extended Crafting also has the automation interface. Triberium blocks, refined glowstone plates, and steel plates. Technically, I can do all this as well, right? At this point, this is all doable to me. It's expensive, but it's doable. 
And the automation interface is what allows me to automate the recipes in the advanced crafting tables, right? So that's cool. Black iron frame from extended crafting. Interesting, okay. Crafting core automation interface. Yeah, I have to remember how this works, but I'm pretty sure you just put this on top and you're good, right? Um, I'm not sure if you need this or not. I forget what this is for. And then uh, refined avaricia extreme pattern needs vibra vibramantium plates. Extreme pattern encoder. Oof, that looks expensive. Oof, that looks expensive. Just a little bit though. Ultimate control circuit. That's things we probably don't have. I mean, we could probably get that at this point, but soon. Vibramantium. I don't even know. Dionite, tritonite, vibranium, adamantite. Wow, that's that's some stuff right there. We might not be quite there yet. We could probably set up some basic auto crafting, like for non these recipes. Just the annoyance is that the crafter does need one of those, right? So if we want to automate making crafters, that's going to be a hassle. But there's some other automations we could probably start working towards. So we'll see. All right, wrapping up point Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I believe that my my vertical miner is done. So I'm going to go and move that thing uh, and, and resume moving uh, all the resources we got from them back to the base. For now, uh, we'll wrap up the episode and we'll come back next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.